two more things. It's bun mi, which is a sandwich. And then finally, I'll share my very favorite one, but I'll only tell you what it is when I get there. Now, to try and find my bike. One video every week, so much to talk about. This week, we're talking about So up until Monday, even up until Tuesday, I hadn't had anything recorded or edited, which is in true Daniel Jackson style. So I had no idea what to make this first video about. So I sent out a poll on Instagram, got a bunch of suggestions back. There are two which I really, really like. One of them is uh, to do a tutorial, and the other one is street food. I have got about half an hour before my next class, so that's not enough time to get food, but it is enough time to get coffee, and I need coffee. Let's go. So when I don't feel like seeing anybody, this is the coffee shop which I normally go to. I would say that Vietnamese people believe that they're more into coffee than most of the world. And that's how you cross the streets in Vietnam, you just go. Okay, so this is my secret place. It's not so secret anymore, I guess. This here is called Cafe Suada, meaning coffee, milk, and ice. And um, so it's a cold, cold coffee, and it's very concentrated, super strong. Coffee culture in Vietnam is so huge, but it's completely separate to coffee culture outside of Vietnam. So some of the coffee shops actually have got it right here, but you have to go searching for them, and I think that's a whole nother vlog in itself. The Cafe Suada is made up of condensed milk. So it's a Cafe Sua. Sua is milk, but that basically is referring to the condensed milk. And Da. Da is the ice. So you get a huge block of ice. Normally they serve it with another glass of water on the side, which really helps. It's not everybody's favorite, but it will definitely wake you up in the morning. And that's exactly what I needed. So I'm done with my classes for the day. Um, let's head out. Three street foods you have to try when you're in Vietnam. Number one is Bun Cha. And that's where we're heading now. So I'm going to try and find this place I used to go with my friend. It's down in a little alley around the corner from the school. Also a great hideaway from my day to day. And when I want to get away from people, it's a great place to go and chill for a bit. So these guys are eating bun cha. The reason why I'm not stopping here is because I think this shop is joined to the one right over here. So these two shops are joined. But this shop sells dog food, which I do not enjoy. I don't support that at all. Dog food. <laughs> they sell dog food. They eat, they sell dog meat. More street food. <laughs> So we're about to get to my bun cha place. Come on, what bun cha? Okay. 
Okay, so the way that you eat this is you're supposed to take these noodles uh, and like dip them in here. Other people would tell you you have to mix this into your meal. I don't really enjoy that. I just go for this stuff right here. You take the noodles, you dip it in this little soup thingy. It's really sweet, a lot of sugar in here. And you eat. Mm, so good. So good. So you have to be careful of these little bucket chairs. Um, they just doubled this one up because I went and broke it with my fat thumb. So there you have it, that was Boon Cha, which is so delicious. It's, a, it's got a sweet flavor to it and super light, super cheap, like one dollar for that meal. When last did you pay one dollar for a whole meal? Anyway, so next up I think we'll stop over at a fur place. I'm sure you guessed we'll try fur at some point. Um, take a walk through the market. Most of the markets are closed right now for some reason. I think they're all sleeping. If you uh, ever speak to a Vietnamese person, the first thing they'll ask you, what do you think about Vietnamese food? So they absolutely love it and rightfully so, it's pretty good. It's like um, wholesome comfort food. Don't support that shop, they sell dogs. Xin chào. Mot hai ba zo. Here we go, I just came across the guy cooking gom zang, that's mixed rice. So that's an extra one for the list. This can be the bonus dish for the day. Gom zang, it means mixed rice. It's kind of zesty or uh, it's got a bit of a sour tinge to it. They do it with some pickled veggies and it's not what you'd expect when you look at it, but when you taste it, it's kind of got a sour taste to it but it's delicious okay here we are at the fur place here we go hello 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 um, <laughs> can I get uh, one fur ball okay thank you So here's a tip which I learned from my friend Joshua, he's back in the UK now. Whenever you get pho, and actually at a lot of restaurants which sell a lot of different things, you'll get a bit of chili on the side and then limes. So you take the limes, and I don't know if this is scientifically true, but you use it to clean your sticks before you start eating because you never know what's going on in the kitchens here. And supposedly the acidity from the lime is going to kill some of the germs. That could be absolute rubbish, but I do it anyway. And at the same time, the lime adds a bit of flavor. So you're basically just eating your washing liquid. Tasty stuff. It's also a good idea to add some chili. Chili makes all things great. That's what they say in India. That's a bit windy out here. Anyway, okay, there we go. Fur bar, which is uh, noodle soup and beef. It's a kind of a salty dish. 35,000, it's just over a dollar. Also, all the food here is super cheap. And um, so on to the next place. Okay, so we've tried pho, we've tried boon cha. I showed you some kerm zang. My hair is probably crazy right now because of the helmet. Um, now I'm gonna take you to try two more things. It's ban mi, which is a sandwich. And then finally, I'll share my very favorite one, but I'll only tell you what it is when I get there. So I just stopped over to try this ban mi little place and uh, the lady's not here. So we'll stop over at the one on the corner of the street. So I, I get to the corner of the street where the Van Mee place is and it's gone. Like within like a few weeks, this place is just, 
the actual building is gone. You used to be able to sit upstairs there and, and look out the window and the whole building is just gone. This happens quite a lot here in Vietnam. You'll find a place which you really love and then you come back the next day and it's just disappeared. See, just as proof that this was a bun mi place. <laughs> All right, here we are. My very favorite Vietnamese dish, pho sao bao. Some great places on this road. Anyway, let's go inside and order a pho sao bao. Dot. Xin chào. Pho sao bao. Heart. As I said before, it's kind of all comfort food here in Vietnam. Okay, here it is. First hour bar. I would not expect anything like Thai food when you come here. Expect salty or yeah, salty or salty. That's about it. Unless you order the bun cha. But this is what you call first hour. Basically, they've taken pho and uh, all right. So it's basically just normal pho. The noodles fried on a pan with onions and garlic like a buttload of garlic and tomatoes all the good stuff <sighs> bloody hell it's yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right so as i said in my previous video it's going to be super simple from here on hopefully it will be a little bit informative or entertaining as we go along but the point of these videos is for me to just practice telling stories better and get better at just finishing things that I start so yesterday I put out a poll or at least a question on Instagram saying what do you think I should post my video about what should the topic be and I got a bunch of suggestions I really enjoyed the one about street food I might continue on with that theme over the next little while maybe do one on great coffee places here in Hanoi but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed it those are the staple street foods that you can get here there's a bunch of others but I would say if you're just starting out go for those simple ones it's pho, bun cha, pho sao bao I think I showed you kum zang and there's the ban mi which you can't go without I went without it today because my place was closed if you have any other suggestions for videos in the future please comment down below and if you enjoyed this video I really appreciate it if you click like and subscribe and all the rest um, but yeah thank you for all the support you guys have been giving me I'm blown away by the support I'm getting for this vlog thing I thought it was like a crazy idea I didn't know if I should start it or not but now that I'm in it and I've started it I see how much support you guys are giving me and it is just mind-blowing so thank you guys I really appreciate it I'm gonna keep at it um, yeah that's it have a fabulous week and I'll be seeing you next week same time same place bye